My name is Atul Gupta, and I'm the Chief Medical Officer for Image Guided Therapy at Philips. I'm also an actively practicing interventional radiologist, having performed procedures for 20 years. And I'm excited to be able to give you an inside look at a fully integrated interventional suite, a suite that seamlessly integrates our image guided therapy systems, our devices, and our software. Now, we're fortunate enough to be standing here in an Azurion room. This is an actual working interventional suite where life saving procedures get performed every day. And we're going to be following the case study of our patient, Anna Griffin. Anna has long suffered from peripheral artery disease or poor blood circulation in her leg, causing cramping and pain when she walks. Sadly, Anna's story is not that unique. Nearly a quarter of a billion people worldwide suffer from peripheral artery disease. 12% of Americans get CLI, and the cost of treating these patients is over 21 billion US dollars a year. What really bothers me is that nearly 40% of these patients will have to undergo an amputation within six months of being diagnosed. And perhaps most troubling, 50% of those patients who undergo an amputation will die within five years. So the threat to Anna is very real. In fact, we have an expression in medicine. If you save a limb, you quite literally save a life. So let's get started as I show you the Philips Integrated Interventional Suite. We'll begin right here at the Philips Azurion Imaging System where we do an angiogram on Anna. What that means is we insert a catheter, not much larger than a strand of spaghetti, into the artery of her thigh. And then, using the intuitive joystick control of the flex arm, I'm able to easily move the imaging to various parts of Anna's aorta and her leg arteries. Now, as you can see, Azorion clearly shows me the occlusion, or the blockage, and to treat Anna's blocked artery, we can use a couple of minimally invasive devices that we thread through her arteries, guided by Azurion X-ray imaging. First, the new Philips laser system, which helps us vaporize the atheromatous plaque in the artery, and then followed by angioplasty with the Stellar X drug-coated balloon, which also delivers a drug to prevent her artery from re-narrowing over time. These differentiated devices will be instrumental in opening up Anna's blocked artery. Now let's take a closer look at Anna's leg artery now that we've treated it. We can see that her superficial femoral artery is nice and wide and open compared to the occlusion we saw inside before treatment. But data shows that a two-dimensional x-ray view from the outside in only tells part of the story. So now let's take a look at Anna's artery from the inside out with our IVUS. And as you can see, we now have a much more detailed view. In fact, IVUS was able to detect something invisible on the original angiogram. It's what we call a dissection. Why is that important? Well, dissections are an almost invisible injury, but if left untreated, they can actually stop the blood flow. So if we relied solely on Anna's first angiogram, I probably would have missed it. But now Philips IVUS lets me tailor a better treatment for Anna so that she avoids amputation. So thanks to our IVUS, we caught the dissection and we can treat it properly which is what we're going to do right now, using this Philips TAC device. The TAC can treat that dissection flap or prop it open. And because the artery usually has multiple dissections, this single deployment system has up to six separate TAC implants inside. So now let's head over to the Philips FlexVision screen, where I can use Philips Smart Perfusion software to take a closer look at the microvasculature of Anna's foot. Now this software helps confirm that the blood flow in Anna's foot after treatment looks great. And again, doctors have access to disease-specific Philips software across many categories of disease that get treated in this interventional suite. So that means software for coronary, for oncology, structural heart disease, neuro, and more. It's important to note that these peripheral vascular disease procedures and even coronary procedures are increasingly happening in out-of-hospital settings. These out-of-hospital settings are increasing access to care and reducing overall costs. I hope this quick tour demonstrated the real clinical value this integrated solution gives to doctors like me and to patients like Anna. You know, it's never about a single product, a single device, or a single x-ray system. It's about Philips uniquely putting it all together, seamlessly combining powerful software, sophisticated imaging systems, and differentiated therapy devices, working in harmony and it's all so we can treat the patient better. One patient every single second, somewhere on Earth, has had their life improved 
and sometimes saved thanks to one of our IGT innovations. If you do the math, that comes out to 35 million patients per year. That's amazing. And at Philips, we're gonna to continue to innovate so patients like Anna can get home faster and healthier, living the lives they love.